Kaya. You need to be, oh my God. Why did you use the case? That, you know what, Kaya, get off my phone. Get off my phone. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. So today I figured this would be the perfect time to pull a prank. Today I decided and I went back and forth like who am I going to prank? Who am I going to prank? And I finally decided that it would be none other than my lovely father. So he got me the newest MacBook Pro for graduation. I can't remember if there's insurance or, on it or if there's not insurance on it, but that's not my problem because what he doesn't know is that I just dropped my computer and it's broken. That really did happen, but we gonna pretend like it did happen. I'm gonna just text dad. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send dad and see what happens. I don't know how fast or slow he's gonna respond. Hopefully it's quick. Oh, he might take a long time. I might double text him just to get the ball rolling a little bit. So now I'm gonna text him and be like, is there insurance? Is there insurance on the computer? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. My heart is beating fast and he's taking forever to text me back. insurance on the computer what do you mean like is the computer covered if like an accident happens just a one year warranty why what happened Kyle? do you want me to send you the picture of it or do you want me to tell you then send the Kyle, picture of it quit playing around and tell me what the heck happened with the computer so I was I had the there's a pocket in my backpack that you can put like for your computer so I had it on the bed but the backpack was open facing the floor so when I got up off the bed like and our beds are pretty high when I jumped down the computer came out the bag and fell on the floor and the the entire screen is like messed up like I can't even use it Can you get pictures on the phone? On my phone? Yeah, cause I'm gonna send you a picture of it so you can see. Cause it's like, I can't use it now. Unless, I mean, do you think Geek Squad could fix it? Of course they can. $2,500 I didn't know it was gonna fall on the floor. Okay, but Kaya, you need to be, oh my God. Oh my God. Are you freaking serious? I'm like, that's what I'm saying. It fell on the floor. I don't care what. So what you're telling me is that, Dad, uh, I'm irresponsible. I'm not irresponsible. I was. Yes, you are, Kaya. No, no, Kaya. You're you, you're irresponsible. Because I got off. I don't. I don't want to hear. It. I don't want to hear. It. Money doesn't grow on 
trees around here. They're irresponsible. And you're talking to me like nonchalant or casual. Uh, because I can't fix, I can't jump back on the bed again and go in reverse okay, and put the camera back. You need to be more aware of where your expensive uh, uh, laptop, cell phone. Well, you said Geek Squad can fix it, so I'm just thinking. I haven't told mom yet, but. Well, I'm not paying for it. Why? No, I'm, no, I'm not paying for it. I'm not paying for it. I don't care, it can cost one dollar. I'm not paying for it. I don't know, figure it out. Tell your mom, I don't know, ask your brother. I don't know, sell some of your stuff to pay for it. I'm not paying for it. I'm not, you haven't even, when, when did I give you back the laptop? I just like, got it back yet. Like se right. September, uh, September, October. Okay, it hasn't even been a year, maybe. That doesn't make me irresponsible. That this means it was an accident. You call the way you want. I'm not fixing it. You're irresponsible. You're irresponsible. If I don't, I, I, I got you the laptop because I figured you would be responsible for it. I gave it back to you because, for one, you needed it, and two, I figured you would really take care of it, seeing how money doesn't grow on trees around here. I told you I didn't like the case we got when we first got it. That's why I don't use that case. Why did you use the case? That... You know what, Kai? Get off my phone. Get off my phone. <laughs> hung up y'all heard that right he's pissed let me go ahead and fix this tell him it's a prank he might send me a voicemail come on answer Dad. Uh, you're not funny. 
It's a, literally out. Okay, so you want to know how I fake the computer screen? Uh, not really. It's not real. The computer is sitting in the case. Yeah, you know what? If, if I told your mother I was going to choke you. I just want you to know that it's a prank. I didn't appreciate how you hung up on me for one, but for two. No, I don't care if you appreciate it. I don't, care. I don't appreciate you telling me that the laptop was broken. Dad, it was a joke. It's okay. okay how am I, you know what? How am I supposed to know that? That's not my problem. It's a prank. It's okay, well, I don't, I don't, you know what kind you do. That was a good one. <laughs> I knew it. I said, no, I'm not calling this. She's like, can't. Come on, Ken, call her back. I'm like, no, I'm not calling. And she's like, you know what? Let me call her. And then, so. Yeah, she, look, I feel bad. You answered the phone like, hey, Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> you got pranked, but let me call you back after I finish um, doing my outro. No, don't call me back ever. Okay, bye, Dad. Love you. Love you, Sue. So, y'all, long story short, I pranked my dad. You heard him yourself. He was so mad. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Trust me, we got more good content coming for y'all soon. Thank you to everybody who's recently subscribed to me. I love you so much. Make sure you like, comment, and share with a friend or a family member, your dog, your cat, your sister, your brother. I don't care who. Remember, it's Purple Gang all day, boy. And I'm gonna see y'all on my next video. Love y'all. This was a great prank. You just got pranked. You just got pranked.